come on that he caught. 89 years old, still hunting alligators. Watch him, don't let him get you. Be careful. The sun rises over southern Louisiana. In Pierre Park, Jacob and Troy Landry are prepped and ready to get rolling on their hunting day. Where's your help? 6.30 and he's still ain't here. Dude, you're going to have to get with the program. I'm going. I ain't waiting on him. Jacob's brother and fishing partner, Chase, is nowhere to be seen. I've done texting him four times. He never answered me. He's still asleep. You tried to call him? Yeah. To make matters worse, Troy's agreed to help out an old timer, Mr. Roy, with his alligator hunting today, leaving the Landrys with only Jacob to run their lines. Me leaving for a day or two to put the whole load on Jacob and Chase. Jacob want to start early and finish early. Then he needs Chase's help. He's 26 years old. It's time for him to mature. I was married and had kids at 26. I told him 5.30 this morning, and it's almost, let's see. Quarter to seven, he still ain't here. You know, the pressure's on. We got a lot of alligators out there and hopefully on the line, and they can't sit in the sun no longer than what they have to, so lines have to be ran whether Chase is there or not. He's always got an excuse. Mark my word, when he's gonna get here today, it's not gonna be his phone. Something, something happened. A raccoon snuck in his house and stole his phone and put it on silent or something. <laughs> There's always some kind of dilemma with him. That's the bad part about Chase. You know, he doesn't have that responsible side to him to be there every morning, having the boat ready, having everything ready to go. He, he shows up late just about every day. And, you know, you can't have that. When, you have, when you're the captain of the boat and you got to run these lines on your own, you got to be there every morning, crack of daylight, and getting the job done, not, not porting around sleeping on the couch like he's doing. As Jacob heads out solo, OK, buddy, you ready? Oh. Troy's helping one of Pierre Part's oldest residents and a living legend in the swamp, Mr. Roy Godet. Yeah, I don't ever stop. If I'm not on the lake fishing, I'm in, in the garden. If I'm not in the garden, I'm going to cut grass. I always do something. Boy, it's nice to have a chauffeur, huh? I got a chauffeur today, baby. I get a call from one of my old buddies. Mr. Roy Goode, I've been knowing Mr. Roy all my life. He's actually hurt himself and he's got to go have surgery. So he called to see if I would mind going help him run the last few lines he got. And I don't mind going at all with him. I'm honored that he called me. Well, you got your line? Well, we're going to go and uh, buy you tranquil. Buy, buy you tranquil yeah. over there? All right, buddy, I'm going to go help you. We're going to go run him. It's like the cold of the swamp is, it's a way of living out here that people help each other. If I gotta work twice as hard with my boys after I'm finished with Mr. Roy to get us back on track, I'll work twice as hard. Whatever it takes, I'm gonna do it. I hope we catch a big one, huh? I hope so. I hope we we'll catch one like, like I caught uh, last year. And I had to pull him with my boat all the way to Pierre Port over here. I heard that. How That's many trips do you think you made on Lake oh Moret? Oh, my eh? God. I don't believe I can mark it on the book. <laughs> I got so many, I can't mark it on the book. Thousands and thousands of oh trips, huh? Eh? 89 years old, still hunting alligators and oh fishing yeah. catfish. You know, I can't tell you how much respect I have for that man or for any of the old timers in our area just like him. These people grew up with nothing at all. I'm talking about with nothing. They've done everything they had to do to make a living for their family and to provide. I don't see the flag, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see the flag now. I don't, I don't see, see the chicken. I don't see the bait. Might have one there. It's down, but I don't see it. Nothing, Mr. Roy, nothing. That's the first one, nothing on it. I'll bet it don't smell good, I guess. Maybe the next one. Although this line came up empty, Troy and Mr. Roy are confident they'll bag a good gator today. 
No, damn, man. I thought we'd have caught one right here for sure, for sure. Can't believe we didn't catch nothing here. Nice place. We just didn't catch it. But they're not there. All right, buddy. Can only imagine how much changes you've seen in your life. Oh, yeah. You used to pick moss, too, huh? Used to pick moss. We used to walk from the lake to the other end of the Ike Canal and go pick moss back there. You know, we'd sell it by the box, right, the moss? By, by the pound. By the pound? It was five, by the pound? And five and six cents a pound. What they would do with that? Put it in bed, mattress, and pillows, and sofas? I believe so. That's what they would do. I put that down. Oh, my dear. we got one down, here. Think we got one, Mr. Ross? Might be a nice one, too. I hope, baby, I hope we got a big one. Oh, Whoa. yeah, we got one. Get ready, buddy, get ready. Hey! Woo! Watch it, Mr. Ron. Oh! Watch him, don't let him get you. Be careful. Woo, good job, buddy. We're not going home with none. Yeah. We got one, it's not a big one. He ain't gonna move no more. We're gonna pay the guys at least. I find his stuff for his age. I'm almost 89 years old. I find his stuff. He's an old trapper, old fisherman, uh, old alligator hunter. But you know, you, you got to be careful, and the more people like myself can look out and help him and look out for him, the better it is. What we got? Ah, it don't look like we got nothing, huh? The line look limp, huh? Don't look like we got nothing. Nothing. We're going to pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, 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 I like Gruyere. Oh, the line move, hold it. Hold it, hold it, get your gun, get your gun, Mr. Ross. Oh, Lord, look at a tree, baby. We got a tree shaker, Mr. Ross, we got a tree shaker. Oh, oh, oh. Be careful. Oh, my God, shoot it! You got him that shot, buddy. Woo! That's a big one, yeah, Mr. Roy. That's a nice alligator, buddy. It must be about a nine or ten foot, huh? Look at that. How am gonna load this thing? Lord, how much? Man, that's a pretty, that's a pretty alligator. And we're gonna flip the boat with that big thing. We got to one of his last lines, and he had a real nice one. He had a ten footer. Most probably a 400, 500 pound alligator where there's no way he could have put it in the boat by himself. So I was really glad I had went to help him. God. This beast will earn Mr. Roy almost $300 at the buyer. A sweet way to end the day. Hey, we got a nice one, buddy. Yeah, that's a good one. Mr. Roy said in the old days they didn't have no tarps or blankets. That's what they used to do in the old days. They'd pick up moss and keep it wet, cover it with moss and keep it cool, you know, keep it wet for the meat one's fall. You know, I had a good time, and, and I'm gonna remember that forever. I don't know if he's gonna remember it, but I'm gonna remember it. I'm happy I went help. That was the last one you oh, said. Oh, yeah. Going to the house. Yep. Yeah. Pretty alligator.